I think this is a great room, but I would really like it if there were a poster on this wall over here, like over here, and if that poster had a picture of a dog on it. So I'm going to go ahead and add something to this room that just says, I want a poster, poster with dog on it. And I'm currently using, to achieve this, something called Photoshop beta and it's within photoshop's beta it's called generative fill this is a tool that you can use to basically input anything you want like we got a picture of a dog now let's say i really want like a bed post let's add a bed post and i'll fix what just happened in a second it gave me a lamp i don't think i want a lamp I, I kind of want to give myself a different shirt. Happy face graphic. Smiley face is what I want, actually. Oh, ooh, hey, there's my coat of arms. Let's go back and check out the other options. I kind of like that one. There's no happy face there. I, I like that shirt. I want to make this make some light. So I'm going to have it, like, shine bright light. Bright light shining. S-H-I-N-I-N-G. Hey, it gave me a whole new section of a bed. I like that. Okay, there it is. That's a bright light shining. That did it. So what I want to do is a whole new thing. So now I'm making this window a bit smaller too. I'm going to take everything in our group. I'm going to shrink it. And we're going to build around it so that we have a new thing. Now, I know nothing, looks, makes, nothing makes sense right now, but it's going to. I'm going to delete a few things. And uh, it's working pretty well. And now we got something. Okay. Hi. Now let's build the room around me. I'm going to add a little more up here, but I'm not going to tell Photoshop anything this about up here. Um, I'm not going to tell Photoshop anything this time. I'm just going to say, hey, the section up here, I need stuff in it. And it's going to say, all right. It'll look at actually what's in the image already, and it will decide based on what it sees what should go in. We're going to see in just a second it pop in. Hey, it looks like a corner. I like this one because it doesn't limit the size of the room. I want a section of this filled in, and there it is. Now we got a wider room. We aren't using much imagination when we do this. What if we instead ask for something like a forest? Ooh, I like that one. Okay. So now here, what we're going to do is ask Photoshop, generate the bottom of this new scene you've made. Hey, it even made me wearing slippers. That's nice. I want to have like a stuffed animal canopy above my head. Hammock with stuffed animals. It did it. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, teddy bear. Okay. What goes over here? Maybe a hole. I'm going to select like an oval. And I'm going to say portal. Yeah, that's interesting. There's a portal with two different things in it. Okay. So they're all kind of non-distinct. I don't like any of those. Let's do something else. This is the fun of, of, for me, this concept of Photoshop. I'll just select an area on the right and say there is a refrigerator. Oh, it's like a, ooh, it's like a perspective fridge looming over me. Wow, okay. Oh, that looks like a fridge. That, see, this just looks like a real environment now. Look at what Photoshop did with very little effort. And by the way, comparatively, if I were to try to manually do this with like drawing skills, it would be like, oh, hi, there's, there's Carlton's friend, blue kid. And we'd be so happy and I'd give him a high five. In fact, let's use Photoshop to do that. So what I'm going to do is cover up my arm. Uh, I'm going to cover that arm up. And I'm going to cover up this. I'm going to say high five. And we're going to see what happens. Uh, it's going to be potentially very odd. Oh, my God. It gave the other thing a hand. Okay. Well, uh, that looks okay because I'm about to, like, high five him. And that looks like my hand. So I'm going to turn all this off, and this is what we're left with.
Now I'm going to go back in and turn on each individual element. Now I can turn on each individual thing and then react to it in kind. Ooh. Ah. No, I'm sorry. Ah. And then I'm looking at the computer while I turn these layers on. Ooh, forest. Wait, no. Forest. Wow. Ooh, floor. Hammock, teddy bear, portal. Oh yeah, we're turning the portal off. This is weird. Well, look, the portal can just be covered up by the fridge. Perfect. And then friend who I high five. Awesome. Thank you all for being here while I tried to figure out how to do Open Broadcaster Studio, the thing that's letting me broadcast these two layers over each other, and Photoshop Generator Film. Thank you. Yeah, friend, high five it.